Hey, what's up? Welcome to my kitchen. It's your favorite cook, Kirby. Today, we're going to be talking about the Anova Precision Cooker. I love me a sous vide. It's really easy to cook on. And I'm going to go into details on how to use it, some of the features that this thing has. So, if you're looking for a sous vide, I have a link down in the description of this video. So that way you could pick one up. So let's get into this review. The boxing of the Anova Precision Cooker is fairly simple. It comes in a nice package, very sleek and sturdy. So if you want to put your sous vide back in the box and store it, you can do so. Not much comes in the box, just a little tutorial guide, the owner's manual, and the actual sous vide. The sous vide is just one unit, so you don't have a bunch of extra parts to it, so you can keep it all together in one piece. As you can see, it's adjustable, so that way it can fit almost any pot. That way if you have a larger one, you can put it all the way to the top. If you have a smaller pot, you can just bring it more closer to the bottom. Now do be careful, the adjustable ring does come off of the unit, so that way you don't misplace it. But that also does allow for cleaning. You do have a screw in the back, so that way you can attach your sous vide to the pot that you'll be using. To tighten the ring to the sous vide, there is a screw on top, so it allows you to tighten it so that way it doesn't move up and down. The bottom screw on the ring allows you to tighten the sous vide to the pot. One thing you need to keep in mind is the cord is not very long, so if you're going to be using this, you need to make sure that it's kind of close to your plug-in. It's only about like a two and a half feet length of cord. In the front of the device, it does have a toggle switch that allows you to adjust the temperature if you want to do it manually. Now there's two ways you can use this device. You can use it manually by just setting the temperature and having it start, or you can use the Bluetooth feature, which there's a button right there. The device goes up to 211.5 degrees Fahrenheit and also the lowest is 32 degrees Fahrenheit. To use a manual mode, you just set the temperature that you want and you hit the start button, which is displayed as a play button on the front of the device. So your device can be seen, make sure you press the Bluetooth button, that way the app can find it. In your app store, if you look up Anova, you'll see that there's an application. Once you download your application, you can be able to access the device directly from your phone. There's many options in the settings that you can change it to Fahrenheit or Celsius. And it also gives you recipes, which is pretty cool. The device is really easy and it, as long as you have Bluetooth activated on your phone, it'll look for the device on its own. So once it's connected, you'll be able to control the device directly from your phone. As you can see, it's showing the temperature of what the water is and what the current temperature is uh, set on the device. And go ahead and select yes to connect the device to your app. On the top of the application where the black circle is, it shows you the temperatures of the water and what the device is set to. So just go ahead and set temp and then change the, the temperature that you want on the device. And then from there you would hit start ANOVA to begin the cooking process. So make sure you fill up your pot with water up to at least the minimum line where it shows. You have a maximum line and then you have a minimum line. You want your water at least to be right there so that way it'll cook. So now that we have water in the pot, we're going to go ahead and set our temperature to 165 degrees. And then we're going to start our ANOVA. Go ahead and press OK. So now the cooking process has begun. You can also set a timer. Once the cooking process has begun, you'll see that the water will begin circulating. 
That way the sous vide will start heating up the water so that we can get cooking. The application is very useful. It has a lot of information. So depending on what you're cooking, it does have a guide to let you know exactly how long you need to leave it cooking and what temperatures. It gives you the recipe instructions and directions along with pictures to help you guide through your cook. It also even tells you how to finish off your food. Depending on if you're gonna grill it or pan sear it, it gives you really good options. About 40 minutes is what it took my sous vide to heat up that pot of water up to 165 degrees. The beginning temperature was 72 degrees, so it took about 40 minutes to heat it up to 165. Once it hits the temperature that you set it at, you get the notification on your phone directly to the app telling you that it's ready to start cooking. Now that it's heated up to the temperature I set the device at, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my iGrill Mini and check to see how steady it stays at that temperature. So I took the probe of my iGrill Mini and I went ahead and dropped it in the water. I wanted to see what the temperatures were on the different devices. As you can see, the temperatures just automatically start rising and the iGrill Mini does show that it's at 165 degrees. I left the iGrill Mini in the pot for five minutes and it stayed at a consistent 165 degrees the whole time. So the sous vide does really good at keeping a steady temperature. To simply turn off the device, just go ahead and hit stop cooking. If you're cooking in manual mode, to stop the cooking process, you just hit the start button that looks like a play button on the top of the device. That will stop your cooking process. Overall, the Nova Precision Cooker is made with really good quality and I just love that it's small and compact and I can tell that it works really good. You know, through my tests with the iGrill Mini, I've seen that it keeps the temperature at the degrees that you set it to. Sous vide cooking has some really, really good flavor behind it. You know, you put your Ziploc bags in there or you can use the, the vacuum seal kind. It allows you to be able to cook very easily, but the flavor behind the food is really delicious. And the most important part is it's really easy to use. Seriously, like this is really easy. All you have to do is just set the temperature, put your food in there, and then once it's done, you know, you let it, you can let it cook for an hour, two hours, depending on how big of the meat is. And then you just sear it off in the pan or on the grill. So that's the review on the Anova Precision Cooker. I have to say it holds up pretty well. You know, it stays at the temperature that you set it to. It doesn't go higher and it doesn't get lower and it maintains that temperature so that way you know that your food is cooking at that same temp. Uh, I honestly can't wait to start cooking on it. Again, if you want to pick this up from Amazon or wherever, I do have a link down in the description so that way you can pick yourself up one. I only paid $89 and I have to say I'm going to be putting this thing to use. Well, that's it for today, folks. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button and click the little bell so that we can see all my future videos. I put out a lot of food recipes and I do product reviews on all kitchen related items. If you like today's video, hit that thumbs up. If you have a question or you want to say anything about this product, go ahead and leave a comment down in the comment section. Y'all be beautiful and take care.